I soon I'm gonna leave this world and its care heading for glory no burdens to bear I walk on streets that are made of gold and I listen to stories told by men of old when I reach heaven that home of the soul I walk up that golden highway and I'll put on a robe that's white than snow and I'm his forever to stay as I walk down the path of sin one day I met a man Halo shone around his head They were nail scars in his hand There was a big scar on his side His feet shone prints of nails I knew this was the man who died to save my soul from hell I reached out and took his hand and held it tight in mine since I began to follow him I found his love divine each day I'm walking in his steps as heaven is my goal The world had lost a sinner now And heaven's gained a soul The world has lost a sinner now And heaven's gained a soul The angels are rejoicing as the hallelujahs roll When I get to those pearly gates The first one I want to see Is the man I met on the path of sin My Christ of Calvary I reached out and took his hand and held it tight in mind Since I began to follow him I found his love divine Each day I'm walking in his steps As heaven is my goal The world has lost a sinner now Heaven's gained a soul As I walk down the path of sin One day I met a man Halo shone around his head They were nail scars in his hand There was a big scar on his side his feet shone prints of nails I knew this was the man who died To save my soul from hell I reached out and took his hand And held it tight in mine Since I began to follow him I found his love divine Each day I'm walking in his steps As heaven is my goal The world has lost a sinner now And heaven's gained a soul
an answer But there's no way out When I've seen the worst And my world's upside down That's when God steps in Over and over again When it looks like that all hope is gone in my and other lips will I speak unto this people yet for all that they will they not hear me saith the Lord he said they won't hear me I'm going to speak with men of other tongues and other lips they still ain't going to hear me that's what he said listen to Acts 28 and verse number 25 when they had agreed among themselves they departed and after that Paul had spoken one word well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet Unto our fathers, he said, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Amen. For the heart of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. I've heard, I've heard people say, Well, it's the same old preaching, the same old message, the same old songs, the same everything. Amen. Well, I tell you what, you just ain't hearing. You ain't hearing. I listen tonight as these singers sing. And, uh, you know, Sister Tammy uh, did something new tonight. <laughs> Amen. Sister uh, uh, White did sing a new song tonight. Amen. Sister, uh, Sister Sam sang a new song tonight. So there's some new things going on. 
And Brother Ellsworth can't never preach this message before, so it's new. But yet, you know how it is. Folks, they hear what they want to hear. Amen. Ever what they want to hear, they're going to hear it. And that's what he said. said their, uh, they, they, their heart is, is wax gross and they're, in other words, hardened and, and, and it's covered up with uh, the sins that they've committed. And their ears are dull of hearing and they have eyes that are closed. Lest they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. Amen. Be it known, Paul said unto you, said, he said this, said that the salvation of God is sent to the Gentiles and they will hear it. I'm kind of wondering if it's just about to end because we got Gentiles that will not hear the gospel anymore. Amen. We got, we got a generation that don't want to hear the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll tell you what, folks, if there's ever a time... We need to be preaching Jesus, it's now. We need to be telling about Jesus, it's now. <coughs> Listen to what it said in John 4 and 31. Amen, Jesus said this. In, in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed. Now this is uh, when he was talking to the woman at the well. He just got through talking to her. And his disciples come back and they brought food with him and they asked him, uh, Master, uh, uh, hath any man brought you out to eat? Have, uh, they asked him, said, uh, uh, Master, eat, they said to him. And, but he said to them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. And then they, they wondered among themselves, says, somebody brought him something to eat. And he said to them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Amen. And, and I like this part. He said, say not ye there are yet four months to the harvest. Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. He that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto eternal life. Both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together, he said. And herein is the saying true, one soweth another reapeth. And he said, I sent you that you, uh, that you may reap that whereon you bestowed no labor. He said, other men have labored, and you're entered into their labors. Amen. Now listen now. When he, when he was telling them that, I couldn't help but think, well, what's this got to do with this? woman uh, here in the gospel. But you see, she goes into the city and, and she tells them men that's in that city, come here a man that has told me everything that I've ever done is not this to Christ. Amen. And, and the Bible said many of the Samaritans uh, believed on Jesus for the saying of the woman which testified. They believed before they ever went out there. They believed because she told them this man told me everything that I've ever done. And they believed her word. Some of them believed that. But then some didn't. Uh, he goes on down and he says this. Um, he said, many of the Samaritans of the city believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified. He told me all that ever I did. So when the Samaritans were come to him, they besought him that he would tear at them. And so for two days he talked to them. And the Bible said many more believed because of his word. Amen. And these went back and they told the woman, said, now we believe not because of what you said, but because we heard him ourselves. Amen. So what I got to tell you is this. He's talking about uh, uh, reaping a harvest. He's talking about winning souls. He's talking about getting people to believe and to hear. And so this little woman goes into town and she begins to tell people, come, see this man told me everything they've ever done. And they believe her. They believe what she says. They, they accept that this woman, undoubtedly this man must uh, has some kind of power uh, uh, to be able to discern and tell what this woman has done. Must be some kind of prophet. And they believe her. They believe what she says. And, but not all do. They go out and a few of them uh, that don't believe, they listen to him and they believe him. And they believe him. What's he talking about, brother? He's talking about reaping a harvest. He's talking about winning some souls. He spoke to one person. She went into the city and began to tell her story and testify and they began to listen to what she said. And as they listened to what she said, they believed. Now I thought so often 
Amen. Our testimony might be small. <coughs> it may be a small testimony. You may not have done a lot in your lifetime. You may not have been a, a mean person. You might have been a sweetheart, a mama's person, you know, that's always been real good, never done anything. But you still are a sinner that need to be saved. Amen. You still were a sinner that needed to be saved. Amen. And so your testimony is one of sin, just like everybody else's is. But some folks have done more than others. And so when they testify, just like the woman, amen, that uh, was at the well, they have, they have, they've done so much that the town knew her, and they looked at her life and said, my goodness, uh, if he knows what this woman's done, and she's been around, Amen, then uh, he must be a prophet. Uh, you see what I'm saying is some folks' testimony uh, is all that it takes to make people believe. Amen, but it's up to us to give that testimony. It may be a little testimony. But a testimony is a testimony. If you can just get some of them to come uh, to hear the preacher, amen, and when they walk in the door uh, and they, they see that there's something about this gospel way that's changed the life of this person, they'll accept that and they'll believe it. Amen, so I'm talking about, listen to what they said. We believe not because of thy sin, for we have heard him ourselves, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. They accepted it. Some of them had to hear him before they could believe, but others believed because of her testimony. I'm telling you that you are a witness to somebody in this world. It may not be a huge witness, but it's a witness. It may not be a great, big, long testimony, but it's a testimony. And your testimony is going to affect somebody. So somebody will listen to you that won't listen to me. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. I want you to understand that. There's somebody that will turn uh, the television on and they'll, they'll click over to channel 8 and they'll pass right on by when Brother Ellswick's on. But then there may be somebody else on there. I know they'll listen to Charles Stanley and some of them listen to, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Joel Smyers and some love to listen to Joel Osteen because he always tells them something good. Amen, something sweet. So they'll listen to him. But if they get saved, it's all the same difference. You understand that, don't you? Amen, whatever it takes to get people saved, that's what counts them. But some folks will hear me that won't hear them. Amen. And there's some folks that'll hear them that won't hear me. There's some folks that'll hear you will not pay attention to anything that I tell them, but they hear you because they know who you are and they know what's happened to your life. Amen. So it's important for you and I to shine the light and let the world know that Jesus Christ has affected our lives and he's changed our lives and he's changed our heart. Amen. And we're walking after him and let them know that. Now, Revelations chapter 3, verse 19, Jesus is writing this, or penned it, he not penned it, but he's given it to John to pen, and this is what he tells him. He said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. He said, be zealous and repent. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice. I, I, when I read that, I want to tell you something. He said that seven times, amen, to those churches. Seven times. If any man hear my voice, I want you to notice that word if. If any man hear my voice. He's not saying everybody's going to hear my voice. That's not what he's saying. He's saying ain't everybody going to hear my voice. That's what he is saying. You understand that? Let me get it a little clearer for you. He said not everybody that hears me actually hears me. They're not listening. They don't hear me. Amen. I may speak to them, but they're not paying any attention. They don't hear my voice. But if any man hear my voice, I like that he said that. If it's seven times. Open the door, he said. Amen. He had, he had made that remark, if any man hear my voice, if any man hear my voice, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto him. 
Amen. Seven times he's, he's preaching this to them. Amen. It's important. You understand it's important uh, that we understand tonight uh, that God, is, he's calling us. He's speaking to, uh, to us, but it's, us, it's up to us to hear. It's up to us to listen. It's up to us to open up our hearts and receive. Amen. You can't be saved unless you believe. And you won't, you won't be saved unless you uh, make your mind up that you want to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. But you got to hear before you can do any of it. Amen. How, how do people get saved? They got to hear the gospel. Amen, there ain't no other way to get saved but hear the gospel. They gotta hear about Jesus. They gotta hear that Jesus Christ is alive. Amen, standing out there a few minutes ago, I met a brother uh, from Jamaica. Amen, brother uh, uh, John and I and, and, uh, and uh, Kevin uh, got the opportunity to meet one of the, uh, the men uh, on the truck, a missionary from Jamaica. Uh, I told him, I said, I... I've never been to Jamaica, never been out of the United States. I said, I wouldn't know a bit more than nothing what Jamaica looked like. Amen. But here he is. He come all the way uh, from Jamaica to, uh, to do a work for God. And here he's uh, on a truck uh, as they're loading up coats to take to give to people. Amen. And I thought to myself, these, these folks, you listen, these folks that, that uh, in Jamaica that hear this gospel, these folks that are uh, in uh, uh, Ecuador that hear this gospel, amen, because somebody is willing to, uh, to preach it, they get to hear it. But unless they open up their heart and receive it, amen, they won't accept it. Unless they accept it, amen, they'll never be changed. The only way to get changed is to open up your heart. He said this, if any man hear my voice and open up the door, he said, I'll come in and sup with him and he with me. Oh, I like that, I like that. Um, he that hath an ear, let him hear. You got to hear what the gospel said. If you hear what he said. He says, Timothy, don't let anybody despise your youth. You can be a young person and be a powerful Christian. He said, don't let no man despise your youth. He said, be an example of all the believers. Set them an example in word. Amen. In, in your word, in the knowledge of the Bible, set them an example. In your conversation, let your conversation be that uh, that becometh a Christian. In charity, amen, love everybody. That's what charity is, it's love. In spirit, amen, get full of the spirit. In faith, amen, believe the word of God. He said, now set that example. Then he says in purity. Amen, in purity, and that's important in this generation. That one word, purity, is important. And he said, until I come, he said, give attendance to reading. He said, you, you need to read what the book says till I come. Take your time and read it. To exhortation, amen. You know, uh, let people encourage you and encourage other people. To doctrine. Make certain that you know what this book says and follow after. That's why he tells him. Then he says this. He says, now, don't neglect the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hands of the presbytery. He said, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear unto all. You know what that's talking about? That's talking about witnessing. He said, you, this is what he said. Be an example, there's the witness, uh, of all the believers. Be an example in, in your words, in your conversation, in your charity, in your spirit, in your faith, in your purity, in your reading, in your exhortation, in your doctrine, a amen, in the gift that's in you. Be an example. Meditate on these things. Give yourself wholly to them so that thy profiting may appear unto all men. Now I like this. He goes on down and he tells him, says, now take heed to yourself. To yourself. Look at yourself. Take heed to yourself. And to the doctrine and continue of them. He said, I want, you to, I want you to stay rooted and grounded and continue in it. And the reason being is, he says, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Amen. Think about that just a moment. 
Be an example to the believer, he said. Now, I, 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 I'm, talk, I'm telling you, he's talking to young people here. He's A woman in the Bible days, her last meal almost gone. But God sent Elijah to make his word known. He said, woman, don't you worry. For God sent me today And before you even ask him Help us on the way Just hold on a little longer Help is on the way A brighter day is coming For those who believe and pray help won't help tomorrow if you give up today just hold on a little longer help is on the way troubles of this life come back and burdens get you down it seems no one is listening, seems no one's around. Just remember what his word said, trust him and obey. Lift your eyes toward the heavens, help is on the way. Just hold on. Help is on the way. A brighter day is coming for those who believe and pray. Help won't help tomorrow if you give up today. Just hold on a little longer. Help is on. Help won't help tomorrow if you give up today. Just hold on a little longer. Help is on.